Hey, welcome back. And in this tutorial, we're going to take a closer look at some of the major operations and really discover how they work. And the first one we're going to look at is the velocity limiter right here. Notice the map below. It starts at zero and then it flattens out at 100. And the incoming MIDI data bounces off of this mirror. And if the mirror is linear, like it is now a straight line, then those values will bounce back exactly the way they came in without any change, without any distortion whatsoever. Those white and gray vertical lines are your incoming CC values from 0 to 127. And where they meet that black line shows their value. And right now it's a straight line. So 1 is 1, 25 is 25, 30 is 30, all the way up to 127. That's what I was saying. It's linear. Whatever's coming in is coming out. But watch what happens when I apply the velocity limiter. The top flattens out, distorting or flattening out the velocities of those higher values starting at velocity 64. Everything's linear until we get the velocity 64. And now 65 will be 64 and 75 will be 64. All the way up to 127 will now be flattened out at 64. And you can see this in action when I select and operate. Let's take a look. My resulting velocities are limited at 64. Anything below 64 will be reflected back accurately, but anything above will not be allowed to get any higher than 64. And this is only one of the possible operation presets. Now remember, we're talking about velocity here. So let's pick another type of preset. This is plus or minus random. So at zero randomness, we have a mirror right, that will reflect back exactly what's coming in. But watch what happens when we distort that mirror by randomizing it. You can see that the incoming velocities are going to bounce off of that mirror in some very crazy ways, depending on the amount of randomness that you choose. So I'm going to choose 25, but in reality, that's 50 because it's plus or minus 25 points. And you can still see the ramp, but you can see now that it's very bumpy. And those incoming values are going to be bounced off this distorted mirror. And the resulting reflection is going to be randomized. Let's check it out. My notes are already selected, so I'm going to operate only and watch them change. See the velocities change? Every time I click, the velocities are getting bounced off my random mirror and reflected back, being distorted by that mirror. So watch them change colors as I click. Now, you can make this as subtle as you want, just to add a little bit of variation to your performance. Now there's only going to be a, a six point spread, or you can make it really crazy, like 54 points plus or minus. You can hear that some of them were so soft, like these purple ones, that you couldn't even hear them. They were set at zero velocity. So let's choose another preset here, and it's going to be fix, right? You can fix or set the velocities at any number that you choose right here. So I can set the velocities at 113. Now, remember, linear is a diagonal map, but this is a flat map. So all velocities, whether they're 0 or 127, will end up being 113. It's fixing the velocity at a value of 113. Next, we're going to look at the setting that I use to create my assistant Igor, humanizing. 